Well here I'd like to show you some expected results for the diode. I'll begin by putting in my measured value for the shunt resistor which is 10.2 ohms. And let's just try some sample points here for the applied voltage. Now the VI plot shows voltage as the independent variable and that appears on the green slider. So this is one section, oh that's interesting. So we see some different behavior for the diode in this area. Project horizontally and that gives us the value of the current through the diode right now in milliamps. So this way you can inspect various areas of operation for the diode. Turning on persistence we can start to trace out the complete behavior of the diode device. Now you see a lot of action happening right here if we wanted to zoom in on that so to speak. You can adjust the ranges or the range of the plot. Say I'll go from minus 2 volts to 1 volt. Let's try redoing that plot again. And this way we can see more de detail on what's happening in that transition region from the flat to the more uh, vertical portion of the VI curve. I'm going to go ahead and do an automatic sweep over this range so you can get a, a nice plot with uniform spacing of the samples. Now let's try doing 50 samples for this. And it looks like I forgot to enable persistence so I'll, I'll let this finish off and then let's try that again. I'm going to expand the range of the applied voltage just a bit to make sure that we fill the entire plot. Alright, that looks great.